Piers Morgan Uncensored discussed the Queen's Jubilee over the weekend and began to discuss Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's appearance, Queen Elizabeth II on the balcony of Buckingham Palace and Prince Louis entertaining the nation. Talk soon turned to guest Grace Blakely, a socialist author, after she revealed she didn't believe in the monarchy. She explained, I have basically no opinion about them as people, I don't really follow the ins and outs of the monarchy, I don't think people should have to follow what goes on in this family, this dynasty that rules our country from behind the scenes. What I do think, though, is when the Queen does sadly die, we will enter into a national conversation about whether or not this is an institution that we should have as part of our constitution as part of the way that our country works. It is very strange that we have a family whose marriages, birth, dramas we are constantly invested in, as though they are the Kardashians or something. They are in charge of our politics of our government, this is our head of state, I think that when the Queen, who everyone loves and who's been in charge for a very long time, does go and we have this array of uninspiring potential successors people are going to start thinking is this what we really want? Piers went on to give Prince Louis a round of applause for his cheeky facial expressions through the four-day celebrations and exclaimed he seized his moment. Touching on the Cambridges as a family and how they joined the Queen on the balcony for her final appearance, Sharon said, Don't you think though that it gave people confidence that this is the family that will be here after the Queen is no longer here? Charles has said for a long time that he is going to cut down the people who are actually on the payroll and that represent the family. The thing is, I think that the royal family brings so much to this country. You look at all the people from all over the world, the tourism. Grace interrupted and claimed, if we were going to make a coherent economic argument as to how we construct our head of state, we could probably make a better one for saying, I don't know, have a presidential system of. However, Beers cut her off and asked, and what, have our own version of Joe Biden? Grace reiterated her statement, well, I mean. It wouldn't be the same as that, but Piers quipped back, I am just putting it out there. I think I would rather have the Queen. During the weekend of celebrations, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made very limited appearances after returning to the UK for the first time since they left their roles as working royals. Dot on the third day of celebrations, the couple spent the day with their children, Arthur and Lilibet to celebrate their daughter's first birthday. Their attendance at St. Paul's Cathedral was the only time they were seen in public with the rest of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to return early to the US, where they are based and were already in the air when the spectacular parade started on Sunday. Speaking about their appearances, Talk TV International editor Isabel Oakshot praised their behavior during the celebrations. To be fair on them, they did actually keep a relatively low profile in a way, they asked to be taken off the list. They wanted to be out of the working circulation, so I think it could have gone worse, I don't think they overshadowed it, and of course, people took pictures of them, but they did behave quite well. Sharon added, it made no impact. Piers Morgan Uncensored airs weekdays from 8pm on Talk TV.